The oldest nonprofit organization in Orange County is now stepping in to help people in need during this pandemic. And they're doing it in ways they didn't expect. NBC4's Vicki Vargas with the story. Get him some, you know, and now it's Rosada Castro now knew she needed help. Her father's death left her in a state of depression. About a year later, her husband was furloughed from the job he'd had for 20 years, a byproduct of the pandemic. Together, they came to a healthy marriage program through the Community Action Partnership, where she says caseworkers and counselors acted more like concerned relatives. They was only the people who say, hey, what do you need? Are you okay? Do you guys have food? Food, it turns out, was something the Castros did need. The nonprofit says during 2020, they gave out triple the amount of food in an average year. Thank you so much. They also launched a diaper program, giving away half a million diapers last year and over $235,000 in rental assistance. Capo C says their services evolved during the COVID-19 crisis. We're doing a lot of emergency care where, where people need something right now. And so we, we are fortunate to be in that position to be able to provide that. But then we're also doing other things like you know, financial empowerment and teaching people you know, really how to get out of poverty. Camp OC has been part of the war on poverty since President Johnson announced the program in his State of the Union address in 1964. And this administration today, here and now, declares unconditional war on poverty in America. More than 50 years later, those lessons are still being taught to people like Rosara. She started cleaning offices to help while her husband was unemployed. He is now working full time again. She learned as a couple, they had to show a united front for the sake of their three children. I know we only have the opportunities day by day. Thanks to God that I have these kind of programs, you know, that help us to float and all this. Now that things are turning around, Rosara says she has a new goal and she's promising to stick to it. I'm doing my GED, so I want to do something different. You know, I know I'm getting the time is passing. <laughs> so hopefully one time, you know, I don't have to clean the houses anymore. She studies at night after the kids are asleep. She's told her son he won't be the only one wearing a cap and gown when school ends this year. In Anaheim, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.